Today I want to talk about what I spend in a month as a 30 year old minimalist. Personally, I like to watch these types of videos. I like to see what people spend in a week or in a month. So I decided to try it out and let me know if you guys like this so I can keep making more videos like this. Before we get started, just a few details about me. I live in Southern California in an 800 square foot apartment. I have a dog and I live with someone. So I'm going to be sharing with you what I spent in the month of July. So I have my laptop pulled up right here in front of me. So if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my budget sheet so I can read off these numbers to you guys. So every single month, one of my fixed expenses is rent, which I split and that is $915. Before the pandemic, our rent would increase a little bit every single year but ever since the pandemic in 2020 our rent has stayed the same so that's been pretty nice i'm glad that we're not spending more money each year so for the past couple of years it's been the same not sure if that's just our apartment situation or if that was for california in general because i know some people were applying for like rent relief and stuff like that during the pandemic and it was just hard on a lot of people obviously so they decided to just keep rent the same and not increase it so for the past couple of years we've been paying the same price for my phone i spend 85 dollars each month so i'm under my family's plan i have at&t and i've been a part of the plan ever since i got my phone when i was like 12 years old each month, I pay my dad the $85 for my phone bill. Thought about maybe getting off that plan and seeing if there is something that I can do instead that's going to be a little bit cheaper than that, but I haven't looked into it. It's just more convenient for me to just pay my dad $85 a month and just be under the family plan. The electricity bill was $40 last month. That is a little bit high. Um, we typically spend $20 on average, but obviously it's summertime. It's been very hot, so we're using more electricity having the AC on. It's always the same story like that every single summer, so I kind of just expect it to be a little bit higher during this time of the year. My car is $443.49. I pay that every single month. I think I have like a year or two left until I completely pay off my car. I'm not exactly sure because my car payment is on auto mode, meaning each month it just gets deducted from my bank account. So I don't regularly log into my account, so I'm not really sure where I'm at, but I feel like I'm kind of almost close to paying it off maybe in a year or so. I literally cannot wait until I don't have car payments anymore. It's just an expense that I chose to have because I wanted to have a new car. By the way, my car is a 2019 Honda Civic. I don't know if that makes a difference, but just a little bit of details for you guys. I had a doctor appointment last month for $125. That is with my health insurance and I think that's a little bit high even with my health insurance but my health insurance is one of the most basic ones out there so nothing special but still an expense that I had to make and then I bought some flowers off a street vendor last month they were ten dollars I like to support street vendors whenever I can Sometimes I forget to have cash on me and they only accept cash. So whenever I do go out, I try to make sure I have some cash. So whenever I see someone selling flowers, I always like to support them and buy myself some flowers or buy someone in my family flowers. I went to Sprouts in the beginning of the month and I spent $49.81. And then a couple days later, I went to TJ Maxx. I spent $37.17. And I think in one of my videos, it was the reset day video that I shared with you. I showed you what I purchased at TJ Maxx. So if you missed that video and want to see what I bought at TJ Maxx, I'll leave a link up there. Last month, I went to a physical therapist. I've been having some knee pain, so I went to the doctor and a physical therapist for that last month, 
and the physical therapy was $50. Then a few days later, I went to the grocery store again. I went to Stater Brothers and I spent $31.47. I went and got gas. I have a Costco membership, so I always get gas there. It's always cheaper there than anywhere else around here, so I like to take advantage of my Costco card and go there. And I spent $60.35, which is a lot. I can't believe it takes or it took $60 to fill up my tank. Gas is coming down. Thank goodness, so it's probably going to be less than that now. I stopped at Costco same day to get some food. I spent $167.28. And then I purchased a few things from Amazon. It was for Amazon Prime Day. I think on my Instagram I made a post about how you should not buy anything on Amazon Prime Day. It's just a marketing gimmick to get you to buy things, but I actually did purchase a few things which I'll share with you these are things that I needed so okay so I got a, a vitamin C serum that I ran out of which I always use vitamin C serums for my skincare routine I bought Crest 3D white strips to whiten my teeth I normally don't buy those things but the prime deal was very good and I just wanted to try it out it's been a long time since I tried the white strips so I wanted to give it a shot again and I actually have been using them and I like them so and another item I bought was a memory card for my camera I accidentally broke my last SD card don't know how this happened but it did so I had to buy a new one so that's what I bought on a prime day for Amazon then I went to Walmart and spent $81.57 there I got a few more pantry grocery things and some more personal care items that day. That's a typically a lot higher than what I normally spend whenever I go to Walmart, but there were a few things that I was out of and needed, so I had to go and make that purchase. I stopped at Ralph's to get something really quick, which was only $7.54. I spent $2.62 at Dunkin Donuts for a coffee. I had someone give me a $2 off coupon to get a drink from Dunkin and I decided why not treat myself to an iced coffee. So I got $2 off my beverage and that was $2.62. Then once again, I went to Stater Brothers to get more groceries and that was $27.58. And the last thing that I spent money on was on another Amazon order. I normally do not spend any money on Amazon. It's not like a monthly thing. One of them was because of the Prime Day and the deals that they had. And then I ended up running out of some things that I needed and only Amazon was the best place to find it or for the best price. So that's why I made that purchase. I spent $23.68. I purchased a two pack of a book light. I've been reading a lot lately and sometimes my lamp is not enough so I need something more brighter and I got a book light so that's nice and again there's two in it so I passed one along so someone else can use it. And then my mason jar lids were getting very rusty and it's at the point where it's kind of not good to use so I wanted to throw those out. So I purchased some wide mouth mason jar lids and now I have lids that are not all tarnished and rusty to use for my mason jars. So I haven't done the math yet so I'll insert the total somewhere down here when I do. So that is what I spent last month of July 2022 as a minimalist. As you could probably tell, a lot of my purchases were basically stuff that are necessities and you know that included rent, I did a lot of grocery shopping, I got gas, other expenses that I make. As you can see, a lot of the stuff that I spent money on are necessities. I wasn't spending money here and there on things that I didn't need. A lot of my stuff is for personal use, my expenses food, gas, all things like that. I did make that one TJ Maxx trip where I got things that were not necessities, but I did want them. So 
that was just one day out of the whole month where I had to spend a little bit on something else. Let me know down below if this was something that you liked to watch. Maybe I can do a weekly video or another monthly video in the future. So be sure to let me know. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, and I'll see you in the next one.